So this is the existing plug we're gonna remove, which is this GE plug. Let me show you. So I got this in the mail. I actually got two of them, which is exactly what I needed. I'm going to replace my outlets that I have outside. We're using the Wink Hub. It's just giving me a lot of problems. So I'd really like to thank Tekken for sending these to me. So we have, so we have this one. We have, you know, normal instructions. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're gonna go to the smart, uh, to the Smart Life app. Let me just show you the camera. So, whoops. Hey, how are you? So we have the Tekken plugged in. It's blue, and what you want to do is you want to hold down this button, and you want to wait for it to start blinking. So there we go. So now it's in pairing mode. So now what we're we're gonna to go to our Smart Life app. And we're gonna hit Add Device. Switch. It's blinking. We're gonna use only 2.4 uh, gigahertz network, so we're gonna use our AP network. And we're gonna hold this close to the switch and we're gonna let it pair up. It's found it, you can see, well, you can't see, but the light is now blink, uh, has stopped blinking. It's now blinking a little slower. So we can see that it's uh, connected. I'm gonna speed this up, boom. 100, we found it. We have a smart outdoor plug. Landscape light. And what happened is our circle also picked this up. We're gonna upgrade the firmware. All right, upgrade is successful. So what I'm gonna do is for S1, I'm gonna make this one the camera. If I can spell that correctly. So we're gonna make this the camera one port. And for S2, we're gonna make this the landscaping. So, so we're gonna call this the back landscaping. Perfect, and we can power them on, power them off individually let's take our plugs We've got our plugs and let's go outside and put them in all right unplug this Unplug this and we are gonna plug our new one in. And we are also gonna take this outlet and we're gonna plug this one into S2. So S2 is now that and we are gonna take our camera and plug our camera into S1. No plants were harmed in the making of this video. Off to the next one. I have the second one here we're gonna replace. The one we did before was the back landscaping. This one is the front landscaping. So we're gonna unplug this. Unplug this. This is also the camera. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this in, which is our new unit. Pull the camera out just like before. We wanna make sure that the plugs are facing down so that for the drips, we don't have any issues. We'll tuck it back here. Still have access to the physical button. Plug it on, turn it on, and that's that. With Home Assistant, we have to go change the automation. So I'm gonna to go to developer tools, states, and I'm gonna look for these new switches. So we'll do switch dot. 
So I can see in the friendly names that these are the new switches that I have. And they have these auto-generated names that I don't like. So I want to switch the actual IDs. The old ones are called Landscape. Let me just see the exact name. So back landscaping and front landscaping. So this is the IDs I want. So we're gonna copy these. And we're gonna override these. So we're gonna say old. And we're gonna say old. We're gonna eventually go back in here and delete them. But for now, we're gonna just do old, old. And then we're going to go back here. I'm going to say switch. And we're going to go grab our front landscaping. So here's this one. By changing the switch ID, I won't have to go uh, by, by changing the event ID. I won't have to go in and change anything else. Um, all my automations will work. My groupings will work. All that good stuff. So that's that one, and now we just need to change the back landscaping. So now we can see that, like for my groups, my groups will now have these switches uh, already put in. So this makes it very easy to then go in. So to delete these, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna go over to Adam. And we're gonna do a quick search. Uh, we'll do a search for just back landscaping. And we're gonna only look in YAML files. So what I'm looking for is I wanna see if, so I don't care about automations because those will now work. But what I wanna see is for uh, if it's in any if they're in any, like anywhere where they're defined. So automations, automations, rather our package. So customize, customize. Let's save this. Uh, so there's nothing left in here. Scripts are fine. Our plan is fine. Pass user, get update. This will test it against our latest version. Okay, so that looks perfect. I'm gonna now just restart this so it takes effect. Oops, exit. So hopefully this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video. So this Tekken gives me two controlled outlets per device. Again, it's waterproof. Well, it's rated IP44, which means it's rainproof. Uh, nice solid button here, uh, typical outlet, plug it in. This looks very much like the GE outdoor outlet that I have. And that's the one I'm going to replace.